Oh, right, all right, you need back air repair. We got another one here. <coughs> we'll call out. Nah, gotta guess it's probably 20 degrees out here in my sweatshirt. <laughs> we got ourselves an Agway here. Uh, guy hit me up <coughs> on Facebook. <coughs> Come pick it up. Uh, doesn't run. No spark. Uh, got there, found out it doesn't roll. <laughs> so she's got a couple of issues. Uh, <coughs> That's way out of adjustment. Uh, what else? Uh, my carburetor is dirty. I noticed uh, I took a peek at it yesterday. I noticed that the primer is not even a line hook to the primer at all. That's, that's missing. So she's got some issues. So we'll, we'll see if we can take, get her fixed up here. I think the first thing we're going to take a look at is uh, the rolling part here because that's uh, it's a real big pain in the butt when you're in a tight space like this guy. Whoops. Compressor. It will not roll on. So we're gonna shut off the fuel. Ooh, she's a little bit frozen. Get it tipped up here and we're gonna take a look underneath. Pull off the pan here. Get some tools. Is this a two piece? Looks like it's a two piece pan, which I've never seen. I don't think it is, but we're gonna, we're gonna get some tools out. It is uh, definitely too cold to be out here in this sweatshirt. I might, uh, Pausing this video to go in and put a coat on. Yeah, this definitely, this definitely way too loose. I think that's the one for the, oh my god. I think this is the one for the drive through that pulls the wheel in. And the problem is if it's this loose, it won't pull the wheel tight enough and you end up wearing out a friction wheel. But yeah, that definitely needs to be, you gotta take it off. I think you can take it off from here. Slide that out the bottom, crank the nut in on it, and uh, I'm gonna give my try. Uh, crank the nut in on it and take some of that slack out because yeah, shouldn't have shouldn't have that much slack in that in that way there's a spring on it. So you can't over you can't you can't over pull it. The spring will only give. Right now there's no. Uh, I bet that spring doesn't even put tension on it. Oh, well, that looks like a full one. Of course, there's always got to be one. I got to grab a wrench. We're going to pause you pause you, and bring you back like I get the pan off. You don't need to watch all this. All right, we got the bolts out of the pan. That was a, that was fun. One of them was rusted right out to the point where at these vice grips. Get screwed there. What do you think of me in there? Mouse? It's rare I don't find mice in, in old snow blowers. Well, not mice, but the mouth mad. Holy rusty chain. Get the pan back. Much better. <laughs> well, that's why the, the wheelie turn. This chain is rusted solid. I don't know how I didn't take the bearing out. Holy. That's a lot of rust. I might have met my match. Let's get you in there. Look at that chain. The drive, everything is rusted. Holy cow, like I said, I might have met my match on this one. Bushings are up. You can see they're not even round no more. Wow. All right, we're gonna bring it back and we get this uh, cleaned up a little bit. All right, we're back. We got, we got a roll on. I think we found the match on that too, right? I think it's like both coming off right away on the wire wheel. Because, uh, She's still a little rusty. Of 
course, they put the link on the, well, the snap, they could have put it this way and put the, the snap link on this side. The safety. No. Put on the wrong side. Of the master link. Let's see if I can get the link out. We can take it over there on the bench grinder and clean the screen up a lot better. <coughs> the bushings are so wore out on the axles here from uh, rust. Uh, this chain is not helping. She's rusted right in and I'll be cleaning for a little bit here. All right, we got her off. Oh my God, that master link was rusted in there. Whew. She's uh, rusty. We're going to take her over here on the bench grinder. We're going to move you out of the way and uh, take her right there and clean it up. We'll bring you back in a minute. All right, we'll get the chain cleaned up. That took forever. Uh, like I said, the bushing still wore out, but... That's not how I feel about that. Well, this is rolls. Oh, I'm gonna reassemble this pan. And uh, where's good bolts? One of them was pretty rusted, so I put that one on the top here so it's easier to get to. Well, I think it's, we haven't even started to diagnose why it doesn't run. But if it doesn't roll, it doesn't matter if it runs. It's got to roll to do anything, so. These bolts are rusted. We got some uh, liquid wrench or something here and spray on these. Whew. Blaster on there. 
Again, look at my hands. <laughs> this is a, she's an oldie but a goodie, I'm guessing. Let me find a rag here. Whew. I'm gonna have to break clean my tools. I'm done. Oh, look at this. I got this. I don't need this no more. Took three pairs of vice grips. Uh, camera and a screwdriver to fix that chain. Oh, and a wire wheel. And WD-40, TV blaster, brake clean, just a couple things. But it does roll once again. That's a good sign. All right. I wonder if I can take care of this now. Right here, I'm taking a little hit this on the wire wheel. We'll crank it up a couple times and put it back together. Hang on, yeah, that seems to help him. Crank it up probably an inch, so that takes some of the slack out of it. Oh, that's bad. At least it's on the spring. Gotten a little more out of it, but that's a lot better. This is the same way, but this is almost right. Yeah, it's got some more on the spring. Better than none. I mean, I, that one didn't have nothing. Stuff while I'm out here. All right, secure all that. Put that back over here. Got my rag. Whew. Like I said, my hands are up. Uh, a little greasy. Well, not grease and so much rust. <laughs> Looks on these tools out of the way here, so I'm gonna trip over. How many times? Get the drill moved. All right, let's get back to the to the smart problem. Get that set down. Oh, so much noise uh, I already loosened the spark plug. I saw a check for spark the other day. Okay, 
Okay, we got a plug out. She's a she should put a new coil on, so she's a new plug. No, no electric start on this one. Oh, let's see if I can get some pull her down with. Alright, we're gonna give her a pull here. Right. Nice work, y'all. So let's see if we can tie this. That problem. Uh, pull the cover off here. You see, they put a new coil on it. Uh, this isn't that old, so I'm, it doesn't have a. Not using the point system, so that's a new coil. And we're gonna, we're gonna assume that this is okay. We're gonna go on to. The kill switch here. Uh, need a Phillips screwdriver. Which I'm pretty sure is out here somewhere, but whatever. Two screws in the front here. This one's really easy. You use these two here, one there, and one over there. This one's only two. Make it much simpler than that. Oh, he says Agway, Milltown Agway, uh, Yardman, and uh, MTD. <laughs> Choke knob. All right, let's take the cover off here and check out our key and everything. Okay, our key's wired in. Ah, I see one problem. I see the problem. Bring it in there. Have you take a look? Here's the first problem. This arm right here. Come on, focus. Focus camera. This arm right here is touching this plate. This arm should not touch this plate. The only time this arm gets grounded out, it's on a plastic fitting here, or a mount, or whatever connector the only time this should get ground is when this arm comes in contact with this arm it goes underneath this it's just a spring and contacts this arm and grounds it into the chassis so that, that's our first issue one is this can't be full of rust my focus camera this can't be full of rust it has to be cleaned off and that cannot be touching this plate so we're gonna start there first. We'll get a pair of needles and fix that. Gotta find me a small wire brush here. Alright. First of all, we're gonna take needles and we're gonna Fix this arm. It is way off of kilter here. Uh, All right, we're gonna pause you because I'm gonna be blocking the camera here. We're gonna get that uh, spring bent, and we're gonna get that arm cleaned up with a wire brush, and we'll. Bring it in so you can see it. All right, we got that. Uh, I think we got. Let's see if we down here a little bit. I think we got that arm bent enough, and uh, we get the other thing, the the kill switch clean, clean enough. We're gonna find out there. We're gonna do continuity check. Uh, arm, engine. Continuity there. There uh, should be nothing between this and the engine. If there is, then I gotta bend it more. Should not be touching. It doesn't look like it's touching, but this is it is. Try 
Right. My grandmother jumpers to wear the clips clips on. They're trying to trying to hold this thing. Uh, looking in two different spots is trying to get them the contact. There we go. Alright, we're still showing the ground here on that arm. You know what? Well, I see no problem. Bring him for this one. Get, get looking. One problem and can't see the forest or the trees, as they say. Look at down here. Look at this. All these grounds are tied together to this middle bracket outside the engine. If this is not supposed to be grounded until the arm touches, then these can't all be grounded to the engine. <laughs> so that means. Even though I bent the arm out a little way here, so it doesn't touch the metal no more. Come on, camera focus. It's still grounded all together down here. That'll never work. Let's get rid of that and see if uh, see if uh, that solves our grounding problem here. The ignition system's grounded out already before you even try. Come on, should be a quarter inch. Look like it is. Not maybe smaller. Probably quarter. Let me look at up there, guys. These wires are all supposed to be hooked together. One for the switch up here for the key, as you call it. I don't know why I have a key on a snowblower. But anyway, one for the key, one for the, the switch on the handle here. Now let's check for the ground. Nope. Went away. Go figure. Grounded? Not grounded. Shut the throttle down. Hit the thing. Grounded. Here we have it. I think I can get that arm a little cleaner, but that's. They should take care of a spark problem. Yeah, I think we should. Yes, you did that. Bring a little tighter. Let's see. I should have made it back. Okay. Let's see if she gets spark. There's no uh, there's no primer on this thing. <laughs> See if she got spark again. It's be real hard to start with no primer. There it is. She got spark. Uh simple, simple, simple mistake. Uh, not a big deal. The chain was a bigger deal than that was. Does it run? I, that doesn't mean it's gonna run. I mean, <laughs> we gotta get that bracket off there first before uh, it gets grounded on it again. Start with that. Got my 716s. I think it's 716s. Put it back. I like to pick up tools that I'm not using. I'm not kicking them all over the place. Oh no. Let me grab. It's only 3 8 Huh. Yeah, I just want to get that bracket off. It doesn't, it looks like somebody made it. It doesn't belong there. I don't know, it looks like it was there. It's just a, it must have had an insulator though. I'll show you. It must have had a, a connector that snapped in this hole. It was probably a plastic connector with a metal stud, and then all the bolts, the wires, would go on that stud, and you could tighten it down, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't ground out. But uh, it doesn't need this. That can go away. We can uh, we can hook them wires together with a with a with a bolt. 
put a, put a ring term on this and all you can do is hook them all together. It's only for the key. You know, it's just a backup. Backup kill switch. If this doesn't work, then you can pull this and this will definitely ground it. This hook right to the... This is a safe switch, actually. I like for it. But, but anyway, yeah, if you can use the key. Just a secondary shut off. Uh, what else do I do here? Oh, I still gotta get, I still gotta get that off anyway. There's no, uh, this thing, which is, uh, it's using the head bolt, but anyway, there's no, uh, primer. <laughs> it's all hard to start when you can't prime it. Uh, of course we got head bolts I gotta remove. Uh, I hate the system when they use the head bolts the whole pull but, uh, Oh, 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 oh. These ones are tight. Uh, uh, I'm afraid I'll break them. There's one. I'm using a coilless ratchet so I can't get as much torque on it. There's two. Come on, number three. I just need to get this. I need to remove everything. I need to get kicked up far enough. I need to get a hose on that uh, primer. Like I said, it's not it's a real pain in the butt to get a in the full vacuum on these small carburetors without that without that primer. Uh, it's just a bear. If it was a lucky start, maybe not too bad. You get spinning over a little faster, but uh, pull start, then you don't need that primer. I was looking at the throttle system on this too. It looks like it's been, the throttle system been worked on too. It doesn't look like it's original. It uh, doesn't look like this. they have a spring on the valve. It doesn't look like it's pulling. A, you push this up, it pulls this open, but uh, it's an awful white spring. I don't think there's much growl on this thing. Uh. Well, at least they didn't put the screws way out of them. The Compton like our Brigham's time likes to put the bottom screws right down at the bottom of the pull start so they're at an angle facing towards the chassis. So at least they didn't do that. Like I said, I don't need to remove this all because this uh, throttle link is hooked to this pull start and I don't want to help all that. I'll take that off. I need to check it out enough to see what size hose it is and uh, get a new one on there. Ooh, funny parts. All right, we'll bring it back once we get this off and uh, we get the hose on there. You know, I'm just gonna put a rubber hose on the back of that primer. All right, we get the we get the pull start put back on, uh, or mostly. A couple more pieces. I don't understand what all this stuff is for, but must be something different. We need to put on a fake. I don't know. Head bolts back in here. What do I do with the ratchet? Oh, she's this one's been a little buggery to put back together. Back in the day, 
This must be the medic. Everything bolted on excessively. I'm hoping the guy said he worked on it, so I'm hoping the carburetor is uh, semi clean. He like said that without that timer, man, it must have been better to try to start unless he just took it off when he was uh, putting the coil in and just never put it back on because he had no spark. Uh, Tighten these down. This should be good. Uh, let's get the plug in. I'm just gonna screw it in by hand. Just see if it does anything. Get that plug back in. I don't think I put wire cutters. The screws off. Yeah. Why ball it? Where is the heat gun? Let's go back up here on the bench. Oh, it's hard to rock. It's cold out. I got overheated. I don't want to put them in the back. That really helps. Yeah, I overheated it. Now, if you saw that away from it, that way for it's cool down, so. So it's off, I can't get it on there. Hitting that all back and forth again. It's a little trick here we learn. Screwdriver. Stick it down in front of the screws and stretch it out some. Screw it up again here, we'll stick it on there and then we'll hit it with the air gun and cool it off. Get it on there. 
stone. Oh, I see, I see fuel. I seen fuel. So the pipe was working. All worked out of now. Chunk. What do you think? Think she'll start? Of course, I'm right up against the shelf here. Coming. You'll smack your elbow into the front of the air conditioner. There's a primer right here. Just the carburetor. Hmm. The carburetor keeps up. I don't know what you want. The carburetor is loading up. Dirt in the bowl. I'll spray her. See if I can get past whatever is going to come on. All right, you see me clean a thousand bowls. We're not gonna film this one. We're gonna pause it. I'm gonna take that ball off and see if it's dirt in there. All right, carburetor was clean. Uh, a little dirt in the bowl, a little water. Run right a little bit better. Let's
What? Not easy. <laughs> What's not so easy? Because that the chain woke me, woke me bad. And then the pull start was not, pull start was not fun. Back put back on. Anyway, there you have it. Just got to put the cover back on. Put a ring terminal on that on the key. We'll hook these together and then we'll tape them up. That way they'll short out against something. Anyway, there you have it. All right. If you got any information out of this, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram and YouTube for pictures of projects, parts, uh, nature, funny videos, uh, Drift Girl, Drift Girl's on my channel. You can check her out. You know, just a, just a whole bunch of stuff we try to, try to put out on our other, other, uh, media platforms. Anyway, you know, y'all have a good day. We're out here. Peace.